level up your CNC game with an Xbox controller. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect an Xbox controller to Mac 4. Let's check it out. Okay, so the way I've got this set up is just uh, the what would be the equivalent of the arrow keypad uh, on the keyboard. So the arrow keys, and then page up and page down is the A and X button. And then what I've got here on mine set up is the big left trigger is the fast jog or 100% jog and um, the right trigger is a increment mode. So um, yeah, I can just do small increments. What are they now, 0.1 millimeter increments. So yeah, it's a really, really handy tool. It's obviously an alternative to a manual pulse generator, or MPG, um, like a hobby or industrial CNC pendant, um, but yeah, I think this is pretty cool. So the actual model Xbox One. All right, I'll show you guys how to set up the software. That's anti-micro. Um, go inside and have a look. Okay, so I've just followed the links down here to the Windows installer, or it's just the binary. So we'll download this one. Okay, so we'll run that file now. Alright, so now that's installed into the start menu automatically. And there it is. Alright, so that's what we're looking for. Okay, so that's what we're looking for, the anti-micro. Uh, yep, so no joysticks are available yet, but that's okay. Now this um, PC that I've got in here, I believe, doesn't have Bluetooth. So this little little USB that I've got here is what I've used inside. That's USB 4.0. That's compatible with this controller. I'm not sure about other versions, but that's what's worked for me. So I'll just plug this in now. Okay. Windows has detected that automatically. Now if I turn on the Bluetooth control here, if I'm lucky it'll just work. Maybe I have to go into Device Manager. Okay, I'm just installing the USB uh, Bluetooth. I just went into Device Manager and basically clicked on it and then it just started working. So, And now, this light in the middle is solid white, so we're connected. <clears throat> and there we go, we've got the different buttons and things, so um, when I push the buttons on here, then the, that corresponds with what's on the app there, so uh, now I can just go ahead and type in whatever keys I want for these uh, different things, so I guess you'd want, uh, let's see, up would be up down, down, etc, etc, and then uh, in here then you can use your control and shift and things, so um, I guess everyone will, yeah, everyone will have to set theirs up differently, but the two, um, two top triggers there, I've set that one up as uh, I think left control and shift, yeah, anyway. Uh, everyone has to set it up how they believe is best, but what I would recommend is do not use the joysticks uh, because you could easily bump that while you're setting up something on your machine and um, yeah, that's not good. So yeah, just be mindful of that and yeah, you probably want to have a special spot where you keep the controller because it, you know it's the same as a uh, 
control pendant, you don't want to just leave it lying around and bump it because you might uh, do something and not just damage your part, you might damage yourself, which is not good. Okay, so we want to put the anti micro shortcut and the Mac 4 shortcut in the Windows startup. So to get to the Windows startup, type, uh, press Control Escape and then type Run, and that'll open the Run. I'll show you the Run app, so you select that. And then in the run app, type in shell colon start up. Start up. Now that brings up the startup uh, folder. So now I can just right click here, copy, and I could use shortcut on the keyboard, but it's all good. And now when I start Windows, that'll run Nancy Micro and then the only thing I have to do is push the white button <laughs> the white button there, middle button to turn on the controller when I'm ready and uh, yeah and then if you've got anything else you need to run on startup obviously you can put a shortcut for that in there as well alright that's it for this video I hope you found that useful if you want to see any upcoming uh, builds and more tech tips then please subscribe and I'll catch you next time cheers bye Bluetooth. Say it weird.